New driver lineups, one name change, but all teams present and correct. F1's back at Barcelona for 2020 winter testing. The day began with the unveiling of two new cars, and all 20 drivers gathered on the grid for a photo shoot. Sebastian Vettel had been due to drive on day one, but was taken ill, so it was Charles Leclerc who first took the reins of the brand new prancing horse. After a woeful start to 2019 pre-season testing, where the team missed two days of running, Williams were first out of the pit lane, George Russell at the wheel and beating his 2019 qualifying time in Spain right away. The only rookie in the field, Canada's Nicolas Latifi, took over for the afternoon session and was 12th fastest of the 15 runners. Renault's RS20 broke cover in its striking black testing livery, Esteban Ocon at the wheel on his return to Formula One following a season on the sidelines. His time of 1 minute 18.004 was just over a tenth slower than Daniel Ricciardo's best lap, the Australian sporting a testing helmet in bright purple with a KB24 logo, a tribute to the late NBA star Kobe Bryant. And another returning driver was Robert Kubica, Signed as Alfa Romeo's reserve man for 2020, the pole was at the wheel for the installation of their new C39 before Antonio Giovinazzi took over for the afternoon. With testing reduced from eight days to six for 2020, drivers were pushing hard. Max Verstappen went for a spin, not once, but twice. The Dutchman seemingly keen to see what his new RB16 can do. Kevin Magnussen has gone on record stating the Haas 2020 Challenger will be a serious improvement on last year's model, and the Dane was giving it everything as he pushed the VF20 hard. Sergio Perez was also flying, the Racing Point driver blasting to the fastest time early on, which was good enough for the third quickest lap of the day. Daniel Kvyat was given the first go in the Challenger from the newly named Alpha Tauri team, the former Toro Rosso outfit changing their blue colours for a striking white livery. The Russian put in the fifth fastest time on day one. McLaren finished fourth in the Constructors' Championship last year. It's been a remarkable improvement in the two seasons since their P9 in 2017. And the eight-time Constructors' Champions will be hoping that the MCL 35 can continue that progression. Early days, but Carlos Sainz's P6 finish on day one looks promising. But once again, it was world champions Mercedes who were on top. Lewis Hamilton fastest ahead of Valtteri Bottas, with the Silver Arrows splitting the day's running between their two superstars. So the first day of testing is over. A few lockups and spins, but no major dramas, and plenty of positives for the teams to take away. Roll on day two. The steering system on the Mercedes was the major talking point of day two in Barcelona. The team's technical director, James Allison, referred to it as DAS, dual axis steering, where the driver can pull and push the steering wheel to affect the angle of the front wheels, known as toe. The benefits are marginal, but could allow the tires to cool more quickly and potentially add to the car's top speed in a straight line. Lewis Hamilton, complimentary of the team's relentless commitment to innovation, was ninth quickest on his second day in the seat. In the afternoon, teammate Valtteri Bottas had a couple of problems. He spun 360 as he negotiated turn 13, and a later electrical issue saw the Flying Finns session cut short as Mercedes brought down the shutters on their day two efforts. Racing Point's technical director, Andrew Green, has been open about the similarities between his team's 2020 Challenger and Mercedes' championship-winning W10 from last season, stating that the team have taken inspiration from the 2019 Silver Arrow, Sergio Perez again impressed, storming to the top of the leaderboard in the early session with a time of 1 minute 17.347, around four tenths shy of Hamilton's best time on day one. Sebastian Vettel finally got his chance to test out the SF1000. Having sat out all of day one due to illness, he took to the track in the afternoon session, laying down a sixth fastest time, surpassing teammate Charles Leclerc's best efforts from the morning. Daniel Ricciardo pushed his Renault RS20 to an impressive third best time of the day, with the returning Esteban Ocon P12, four places down on his first day effort. Max Verstappen covered the most ground on day one, a colossal 168 laps. No one reached that total on day two, but the Dutchman's Red Bull teammate Alex Albon impressed, clocking up 128 laps and a fourth fastest time of the day. Another who impressed in the morning session was Alpha Tauri's Pierre Gasly, 
Despite a spin early on, the Frenchman finished a creditable fifth. Taking his first trip in the Haas 2020 Challenger, Romain Grosjean was one of several centurions, clocking up 158 circuits of the Barcelona track. The US outfit endured a torrid 2019 season, but two successful days of testing will have buoyed Gunter Steiner's team. However, the Frenchman did find the gravel late on. Another driver looking for the right line was McLaren's Lando Norris, who got a little out of shape as he got to grips with his MCL 35. Nicholas Latifi sat out the day, so George Russell got both sessions for Williams, bettering his P9 finish on the first day by two places. Day two also saw 2007 world champion Kimi Raikkonen get his first taste of the Alfa Romeo C39, the Finn taking a spin through the chicane as he tested the limits of his 2020 ride. The Iceman eventually found the fastest lap of the day and then ground to a halt, bringing out the first red flag of the year. So everyone's now had a go in their 2020 cars. Some intriguing innovations and a lot of miles on the clock, with one final day of the first week of winter testing still to come. Mercedes driver Valtteri Bottas put in a scorching lap on the soft compound tyre C4, posting the fastest lap of the test so far, a 1 minute 15.732, giving the flying fin bragging rights on the final day of the first test. There was a puff of smoke from the back of the W11 when Lewis Hamilton took over in the afternoon, and he couldn't quite match his teammate's pace, though he was still second fastest. Team principal Mattia Bonotto said on Friday that he believes Ferrari are not as fast as both Mercedes and Red Bull. So there was already a sense of gloom in the prancing horse garage when Sebastian Vettel suffered a power unit problem in the morning session. The four-time world champion pulling up at turn 12 and bringing out the red flags, with the issue necessitating an engine change for the afternoon. And it wasn't the only stoppage of the day. Nicholas Latifi's loss of power in his Williams also brought proceedings to a temporary halt, while Kevin Magnussen's puncture and spin into the gravel had the same effect. I had a puncture at the exit of seven. Puncture at the exit. Both Haas drivers were pushing their VF20s to the max, Roman Grosjean locking up at Turn 1 and also getting a bit racy with Alpha Tauri's Daniel Kvyat, the Russian posting the fifth best time by the end of play. How's the excitement? A bit more. It's actually not so bad in here. Having a bit more fun than I thought. I miss you though. Daniel Ricciardo was enjoying himself out on track in the afternoon, but had an up and down day. He suffered a mechanical issue which brought out another red flag to the session. And a little later, on a flying lap, took a spin through the final chicane after posting personal bests in the first two sectors. Teammate Esteban Ocon fared better, setting the third fastest time of the day on the soft tyres. Another driver impressing on the C4 compound was Racing Point's Lance Stroll, the Canadian pushing his RP20 to P4 early on, before concentrating on long run pace as the time ticked away. So one test down, one to go, and just three days left for drivers to get to grips with their rides before the season premiere in Melbourne. Test in Barcelona. Just three days left for teams to test new parts, hone their setups and prepare their drivers for the rigours of the coming season. Ferrari displayed a few tweaks to the rear wing of the SF1000, with Sebastian Vettel given the first outing, the four-time world champion getting it all wrong at Turn 8, running wide and losing the rear, bringing out the first red flags of the second test. Aside from that mishap, Vettel had a reasonably trouble-free morning, clocking up 84 laps with teammate Charles Leclerc close behind the German on 80. Pirelli have supplied teams with an additional C2 prototype tyre this week, specifically designed for use on the banks of the Zandvoort circuit. Several drivers trialled them, including Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes. The reigning world champion clocked up 89 laps in the morning, pushing the W11 to its limits, bumping over the kerbs at the final chicane on one particularly speedy lap, proving even the best can get it wrong sometimes. Alpha Tauri ran into some technical problems early doors. A pipe on Pierre Gasly's power unit dislodged during his installation lap, meaning the AT01 spent most of the morning up on the blocks. However, when he did get out, with an hour left of the morning, 
he posted the second quickest time of the session on the C4 soft tyres. Red Bull were another team to miss a large chunk of testing time. The shutters were down at the Austrian team's garage as the engineers scrambled to fix a suspected suspension problem on the RB16. Not ideal as Alexander Albon is already lagging behind teammate Max Verstappen on the lap count leaderboard. The Thai driver finally emerged for what remained of the morning session and put in some impressive quick laps, posting the sixth fastest time of the day on the C2 hard compound. Verstappen had a roller coaster afternoon, the Dutchman spinning at turn 13, then posting the second best time of the day on the C3 medium tyres, before later having an issue at turn 10, which forced him off the track, red flagging the day with just a few minutes remaining. Like Ferrari, Williams have brought an aero upgrade to week two, the team trialling a new front wing on the FW43. And there was a touch of deja vu for the team when Nicolas Latifi ground to a halt, red flags flying as the Canadian was once again forced to pull over and let the marshals bring the car home. The issue's knock-on effect leading to delays to George Russell's afternoon programme. Haas were the only team not to switch drivers at the halfway point, gifting Romain Grosjean a full day in the seat. The Frenchman was the only driver to pass the 100-lap marker. However, on total lap count, the team still trailed almost every other. Robert Kubica was handed another session in the C39, the Alfa Romeo reserve driver spinning at the final corner. Despite that unscheduled excursion, the pole still managed to post the best time of the day, a 1 minute 16.942 on the C5 soft compound. Another team that looked quick were Racing Point, with Lance Stroll impressing in the morning before Sergio Perez shot to P3, the Mexican's time five tenths back on Kubica's best but on the harder C3 compound, which goes some way to showing just how quick the Mercedes-powered RP20 really is. Also on the C3, Daniel Kvyat managed to leapfrog teammate Gasly to take fourth spot as the sun began to set in Barcelona, which proves the Honda-powered AT01 is no slouch either. There were damp conditions on the fifth day of winter testing in Barcelona, a chance for drivers to display their all-weather skills on the rapidly drying track. Having briefly topped the timing sheet, Alfa Romeo's Antonio Giovinazzi fell foul of the slippery surface, spinning his C39, spraying gravel left, right and centre, his rear wing clipping the barriers for good measure. Red Bull's Max Verstappen was the first driver to switch back to the slicks, Still sporting aero rakes on his RB16, he lost the rear at the chicane, spinning and sliding backwards into the runoff area. Cold tyres almost certainly a contributing factor. A little later, the Dutchman found the gravel again, this time at turn five. As did four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel, the German losing control of his Ferrari on the exit and showering the track with stones as he extricated the SF1000. However, Vettel did top the leaderboard with a time of 1 minute 16.841, albeit on the softest compound. By contrast, Racing Point's Lance Stroll was P2 in the morning, just two tenths back, but on the medium C3 tyres. Turn 5 also got the better of 2019 Drivers' Championship runner-up Valtteri Bottas. The Mercedes man going into the bend a little hot and locking up, but the Finn avoided the spin, sliding into the shale. It wasn't just spins that brought out the red flags. Lewis Hamilton was forced to pull the W11 over to the side of the track with a power unit issue. The shutdown blamed on an oil pressure anomaly. This is the second time the Silver Arrow has ground to a halt during testing, and it signalled the end of their running for day five. Nicholas Latifi was another that found the gravel on what was a mixed day for the Williams team. His fourth fastest time was just under five tenths behind Vettel's best, which was impressive. However, his FW43's right-side rear-view mirror developed a crack in the afternoon. With the team looking to bounce back from a very poor 2019, they'll be hoping they can avoid the associated seven years' bad luck. The Renault RS20 had spent a large chunk of day four up on the blocks, restricting Esteban Ocon to just a couple of hours in the seat on Wednesday. Eager to claw back some time and despite the wet conditions, the Frenchman went out early on the Inters, slip sliding around as he got to grips with his 2020 ride, finishing P8, three places ahead of teammate Daniel Ricciardo in 11th. 
Another who'd lost time yesterday was Alpha Tauri's Pierre Gasly. Making up for it, the Frenchman pushed his 80.01 to a second best time on the C5 soft tyres and was the first driver to pass the 100 lap marker. Later joined by Vettel, Stroll, McLaren's Lando Norris, and also Latifi, who went the furthest of all, 159 laps by close of play. So Vettel fastest from Gasly, both on the C5, with that time by Stroll on the mediums one of the standout laps of the day. Norris's P5 time was also on the yellow-ringed C3s. Just 14 laps for the six-time world champion, Hamilton will be hoping for a better session tomorrow on the final day of testing before the season opener in Melbourne. The final day of testing and a final chance for teams to fine-tune their 2020 challenges before first practice in Melbourne in just two weeks' time and the first Grand Prix of 2020. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc warmed up with a quick game of keepy up before taking his place in the SF1000. Once out on track, the Monegasque put in some serious miles, the most laps of any driver in a day of testing, and posting the fourth fastest time of the day on the C5 soft compound. Lewis Hamilton completed just 14 laps on day five due to a technical issue on the W11. So the reigning world champion made up for lost track time on his final morning in the Mercedes hot seat, clocking up 90 laps and setting personal bests across all three sectors for his fifth fastest lap of the day. Morning glory went to the purple helmeted honey badger. Daniel Ricciardo blasted his Renault RS20 to the top of the timing charts in the first session with a 1 minute 16.276, the fastest time the Australian has ever done at the Catalonia circuit. But in the afternoon, Valtteri Bottas nabbed top spot with the fastest lap of the day and the second fastest of the fortnight. The flying fin just under five tenths back from the out and out best time he set the previous week. Red Bull's Alexander Albon got it all wrong at turn 12, going in too hot, losing the rear and spinning into the gravel. But no red flags, the tie driver managed to dig the RB16 out and limp back to the garage under his own steam. Kimi Raikkonen took the C39 for a little spin too. His detour was on the exit of the final chicane, and on an outlap, the Iceman's coal tyres were probably to blame for the Alfa Romeo's pirouette. Another who found the stones was Romain Grosjean. The Frenchman had a moment at turn seven, taking his Haas VF20 for a trip over the shale. With Carlos Sainz in the McLaren hot seat, Lando Norris had time on his hands today, time enough to make his own personal Lego movie, of which Red Bull's Max Verstappen was happy to provide some constructive criticism. The Dutchman posted the second quickest time of the day with an attempted glory run in the last half hour, but he was unable to topple Bottas. Esteban Ocon sneaked into P6 to complete a decent day for Renault. Sergio Perez continued racing points impressive pre-season, P4 in the morning and P7 by end of play, just ahead of McLaren's Carlos Sainz in eight.